In 1992, Yasemin Hasanova was 12 years old. She'd been born and brought up in Khojali and has fond memories of her childhood. But when war came to her doorstep, that all changed. I lived a very happy and carefree life. We could feel my parents' warm breath and I never imagined that one day I would lose them both at once. During the first Nagorno-Karabakh war, Khojali had been a base for Azerbaijani militia. When Armenian forces took it over, hundreds of civilians fled, only to be shot dead when they approached a nearby Armenian village. Yasaman had already been evacuated safely with her brother and sister. She left behind her mother and father, who was in the local militia, and never saw them again. At that moment, only scenes of death remained in our minds. We lost many loved ones and so many wounded people. Even after leaving Hojala, we received information about the dead and wounded. It was as if the pain of that horror was following us. It was only 16 years later, when she saw this photo, that she knew her mother was dead. She recognized her body in the street, alongside her cousin. Here in the center of Baku, there's a monument to the massacre, where young and old can pay their respects. It commemorates what's known in Azerbaijan as the Soy Kurum, or genocide. Some signs are written in English, so international visitors know how it's viewed here. Estimates vary as to exactly how many people were affected by the Khojali massacre. According to the Azerbaijani government, more than 600 people were killed and more than 400 were wounded. But even if you take some of the lower estimates, it's still one of the largest death tolls connected to any single event in the first Nagorno-Karabakh war. Yasaman didn't just lose her parents in Khojali, she also lost her grandparents here on the left and right, an aunt and uncle and two cousins. I always say this, how can we go and live with the Armenians again? How can we go to Hojala, to the street where my mother was killed? How can we be neighbors with Armenians there? It will be very difficult. Now she has children of her own to bring up, and it's they who will have to try to build a future and decide whether to put an end to decades of bitterness and bad feeling. Andrew Hopkins, TRT World, Baku. Thank mm-hmm. you.